but anyway, so we're going to do some sketching uh, in blue. And uh, I'm just going to do basically uh, like, a, like a boy's face. So what we're going to do here is, let's see. You know, you want to structure, do a circle. We're using the light blue because we're doing a sketch. Let's do a circle, kind of of a head. And what you do is you break the head into different parts. See, uh, when you do kids, it's always nice to do uh, like kind of cheeks, big cheeks when you do the kids, or at least this is how I do it. Um, you know, and then you have a line that kind of shows the separation of the face. So you have kind of an oval here, a bigger for the, for the cheek area. And then this is just a basic uh, head area. And then you just, you know, you want to give ears, kind of fun ears, rounded ears, right in the middle, right where this line is. And this line is tends to be kind of right where the eyes should be. Your eyes should fall just about here. Okay? And your nose should be somewhere within this area here and here. Okay, and then you can use this entire area to do the mouth. Um, one thing about when you're drawing little kids, um, you want to do big eyes. That's always a good way of an is an indicator of 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 a kid. So you got these large eyes here, and then the nose. There's different ways of doing noses. You could do a turned up nose, which is always cute for for a, a kid drawing, or you know you could give them a little more of a. You know, even a rounded nose doesn't matter. Depends on what kind of kid. You know, it depends on how you want to draw them. Um, the the mouth is great because the mouth. You know, you could change an entire expression depending on how you do the mouth. Um, you know, you go like this, and the kid has kind of a, a doubtful look about him, like he's curious or or a little worried. That's the nice thing about mouths. You go like this. Uh oh, he did something wrong. Right, you give them a little uh oh kind of face. Um, of course, the big smile, right? Now, what you do is when you do this little line here, I do this little line here because it indicates a lip. But you don't want to draw a whole lip because it'll just look strange. But this kind of gives you the impression of a lip. A little thing coming off of it there. Um, then you can have fun with the hair. I mean, it depends on what you want to do. You know, you can go kind of natty and, and fun with it. Okay, and fill it in. I usually go, I usually start with the eyes, you know, once I have the sketch down. And you leave a little bit of white on the eyes. It makes the eyes shine. That's always kind of nice. And then uh, you have the basic shape, which is a, almost an M shape for the eyes. I like to also sometimes add a little bit more. So this is kind of like where the cheeks kind of meet, okay? And here, his little nose. We're gonna give him eyebrows. I didn't indicate those earlier, but I thought I should. Yeah, so one thing is, you know, you try to, you get the sketch down so you have a nice guideline in your drawings. And little nuances you add, like the chin. I added a little, gave him a little bit more of a chin um, here. Then you know you've got the hair. You just do some basic lines. And then the nice curl of the for the ears. Some more lines. Nice. Really cute for the ears here. Okay, and then just fill in the hair however you want to do it. You know, could be any way you want. All righty, then you got his neck. You could even give him a little shirt here. All right, so I'm using Photoshop, and in Photoshop you have a lot of abilities to screw around with some colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do so. I'll pick myself a nice color that I think will work for his tone of his skin. 
and I'll just start filling out. Now, the reason that I'm not erasing the black lines is because I'm using layers. And just like if you were using a paint over uh, India ink, which is the ink that you would generally use, waterproof ink, and when you put ink, when it's dried nice and solid, you can actually paint over it and it won't smear the ink. What I did is here is the top layer, and then that's a bottom layer. So I just left the top layer on, and I'm coloring on the bottom layer so it seeps through. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going through here, and I'm just going to kind of colorize and fill in the areas that I think need to be filled in. And do his neck. Very good. So now what you want to do also is, uh, just for right now, just so you guys can picture it, I'm going to go ahead and color his hair. Let's give him orange hair. And we'll give him, let's see, pick a color for a shirt. Alrighty. So you can see that's what's under it, and that's what's over it. Now, um, something else I like to do is I like to add a little bit more. So what I choose is I choose the same tan or color skin. And what I do is I make it a little bit darker. And then I go in and I highlight areas. Or not highlight, but add shadow to some of these areas. Like right where you think a shadow would lie, like inside the ear. Um, Sometimes around the head, like maybe his hair is, is putting some shadow over it here. Then you do just the opposite. You choose that same color and you go lighter. And then maybe you do on his cheeks, his nose, you give him a little bit of lightness. On his ears. And then it adds just a little bit of a depth to the character there. Do the same thing when you try to shadow the clothes. So this is where there's a crease, so you make it. Oops. And then his hair, you do the same thing with his hair. Now there's a little bit of a mistake here, so I'll fix that first. And then we'll darken a certain area here. Okay. So there you got a simple uh, walkthrough of, of kind of how to do a face. Uh, All right. Have a great one. Thanks a lot.